Let's erase. Let's erase. Let's do one more and let's see whether you can do it. I'm now just going to change the values. I'm now going to give you another parabola. I'm going to say minus 6x squared minus 2x at the point at the point P, let's say 1 and 3 for 5 bucks. Let's see if you can do this one on your own. Okay? I'm going to erase this and let's work out the let's work out the memo. One more example, and that is done with finding the equation of the tangent. That means this topic now is now done. We're then going to go on to the cubic graph. Okay, so let's see. We've got an x. We've got a y. Do I need to substitute the x in here to get the y? No. So I can go directly into derivative. I can say f dash x is equal to minus 12x, 2 times minus 6 minus 12x minus 2. Therefore, the m of my tangent... Therefore, the gradient of my tangent is going to equal to minus 12 into 1, minus 2, which is equal to minus 12 minus 2, minus 14. Therefore, your equation of your tangent is now going to be given by y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So we have, which point are we using? Again, we're using the point 1 and 3. y minus 3 is equal to m, which we found, minus 14, into x minus 1. So y minus 3 is equal to minus 14x plus 14. Y, final answer, y is equal to minus 14x plus 14 plus 3 plus 17. And that, boys and girls, that would be your final answer. We're now done with finding the equation of the tangent. We're now going on to the cubic function. Now, guys, the cubic graph, the graph is worth 12 marks. We're going to do the forward and the reverse. We're going to be doing how to sketch the graph, and then if the graph is given, how to then find the equation of that graph, of the given graph that's given. We're also going to be doing what you guys all know by now, the point of inflection. And many of you still don't know what that is all about. So let's erase this, and let's go on to the cubic graph, the cubic function. Okay. Now, some background knowledge about the cubic function. Let's start. So, put the heading, the cubic graph. Now, we know that the standard form for the cubic graph is f of x is equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c. Sometimes they might give it to you like this. Sometimes they might tell you that f of x is equal to ax cubed, where your a value will change, plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Boys and girls, these two are exactly the same. It's just in the first one you can assume that the, the, the co um, coefficient of x cubed is 1. Here the coefficient of x cubed would be a different value. It could be a value greater than 1 or it could be a fraction. Just to show you guys, before we cut for an ad break, what the, what the shapes of the graph would look like. Because it's cube, cubic, it's got three x-intercepts, but not necessarily. So, here are the three scenarios. If, it, if this is positive, the graph could look like that. One, two, three x-intercepts. That's positive. If it's negative, the graph lo could look like this. That's with three x-intercepts. Sometimes it might have two x-intercepts. So this is just here to show you the shape. So if it's got two x-intercepts, for a positive graph, it might look like that. And for a negative graph, it might look like this. If it's got only one x-intercept, the graph that's a negative graph, the positive graph would look like that, with two turning points. That's a positive and the negative graph would look like this. Okay, so there we go. What I'm going to do as qu uh, quickly before we cut for an ad break, I'm going to put up a problem here on the board. Let's see if you, the viewer, if you, the grade 12 learner, can do this in three minutes during our ad break. So I'm going to give you a question and I'm, I'm going to ask you to sketch the graph. To sketch the graph, f of x is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 3. Go ahead, it's worth 12 marks, sketch that graph, when we get back, we will do the memo.